Hello there. In this tutorial, we are going to look into two ways how we can use Node.js in the Google Colab environment. First, we will look at the Jupyter extension. So we will use Pixie Dust node, and later we are going to install a Node.js kernel here at GitHub.com slash Pixie Dust slash Pixie Dust node. We have these files for this extension that enables a Jupyter Notebook user to invoke Node.js JS commands. So we are going to install. First, we need to install Pixie Dust, and then we install the Pixie Dust node. Unfortunately, Google Colab Notebook doesn't allow this nice display of uh, things that the Pixie Dust node offers so we will have to use a jupyter lab or the classic jupyter notebook like we've been doing using a http tunneling with ngrok but before i will start showing how to use pixie and pixie dust i will just install everything what we are going to need for this tutorial i will already install the um, node.js kernel and prepare everything so when we launch our classic Jupyter Notebook, we'll, we can have Jupyter Notebook running Python 3 kernel and accessing Node.js from the Python 3 kernel with the Pixie Dust extension. And we can also launch a Node.js kernel, a Jupyter uh, Notebook using the kernel. So I installed Pixie Dust. I will install PyNGrok that you've been using to tunnel and access the classic Jupyter Notebook inside our Colab environment. Now I'm going to install the Node.js kernel and you'll find the Node.js kernel here from github.com slash nresco slash ijavascript. you also find this link if you go to the uh, Jupyter kernels, then you go to this um, github.com Jupyter, Jupyter wiki, Jupyter kernels, and you will find here all the kernels that are available and you can install. We are going to take a look on more kernels in other tutorials. And here you will find this um, iJavaScript. And then you can follow here the instructions how to install. And this is what we are doing here. So I use the Jupyter kernel spec list to list and see that the JavaScript um, was installed successfully. And this is in fact a Node.js kernel. Explain here. It executes JavaScript inside a Node.js session. I will also use for this tutorial just um, an example using Plotly to plot. So we also need to install Plotly for Node.js Jupyter. So I have here the Plotly notebook. It is a small package for using Plotly.js in Jupyter. So I'll just install using npm. And I think we should have everything we need to start our classic Jupyter notebook. So the same procedure, I will start the Jupyter notebook in the background. Here you configure Py and Grok to use your authorization token. We've done this many times. Now I can connect to our Jupyter notebook. So we are launching our tree and there we will have access to here. We can now have a Node.js notebook with the Node.js kernel, but first we are going to use Pixie Dust, so I will start a Python 3 notebook. So we have our notebook 
then I will import pixie dust node. We need to restart the runtime. Start. Port again. We have successfully. We can now use this magic node and this code inside the cell will be executed in Node.js. So when we go back to this Pixie Dust GitHub, and we'll find here documentation for Pixie Dust, Pixie Dust node, Node.js in notebook. So here there will be some examples on how to use Pixie Dust. So let's take a look at one of these examples. So I'm installing this cloud and quick start. I did it here. Now let's execute this part here. Okay. Let's continue this example. Let's execute this code here. So we have here some data. So now we've seen how to work with data and we can display. So for example, we are going to display as uh, here is saying, we are going to patch cities in the UK above latitude 40, uh, 54 degrees north. And here is what we have here similar to the example here. So one thing you have need to have in mind is here, you should include as the keys, the latitude and the longitude. And here we have the population. And then we get this nice map here. So we've seen here how we can use Pixie Dust node we have this interesting maps and you can also do other kinds of plots. There are more examples available. A very good feature of Pixie Dust Node is the Node.js to Python bridge, where the global variables that you create in a node cell, they are also available in the Python cell. We defined here variables in the node GS space, but we can also bring them in Python cell. So this is uh, very powerful. We can go from node GS to Python and use both kernels in this way. So there, are, there is much more to explore with Pixie Dust and Pixie using this. Uh, magic node running node.js inside this python 3 kernel inside the google collab environment but we can also start a javascript node.js kernel and then now there is no python 3 here it's just the node.js kernel so we have this notebook running on node.js and now using this plotly notebook for example can example here and copy here and we have this using plotly yes we have this plotly in jupyter so there is directivity here this is very nice convenient way how to plot using node.js in a Node.js kernel. One more example here that we're having is we're implementing a function to calculate the convolution, one dimensional convolution. We're defining an output matrix with zeros. Here we are calculating the convolution, and here we are testing the convolution. So we are convolving to arrays here and then two arrays here. 
So if you go to Guitars AI, GitHub, Algorithms, Apple, Repo, you will find some examples. So I have here for JavaScript, Node.js. We have here a merge sort algorithm, how to calculate the mean on average, convolution in one dimension, a moving average filter in one dimension, convolution in two dimensions, and an image edge detection filter using this convolution 2D. And you have all the notebooks here. Here we are just executing this function to calculate the convolution. So it's using this Node.js kernel in this notebook. So in this tutorial, I showed you how to use Node.js two ways. One is using an extension. So we're using Pixie Dust. So you have a Python 3 kernel, but you can execute Node.js inside with the magic node and then we also have a kernel so two ways how you can use node.js with uh, jupyter notebooks and inside the google colab environment have in mind that everything what we're doing here in google colab almost everything what is not specifically to google colab you can also run locally Sometimes it's much easier to install things locally because there is no this tunneling and there is no the limitations of Google Colab. You can also use uh, remote environments such as Binder, so you can have some files in the GitHub. You configure everything there and you can start using Node.js. So one extra tool to research and develop.